Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video, I will be reviewing everything that was covered yesterday in DevStream 70. Yesterday, we were joined by Forsythia, Sweet Tsunami, and Michael Ringer. I should also note that this video was produced with large amounts of help from VSL Bad But Sweaty. He's a great dude, and you should check him out if you have the chance. I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. He was a major help when it comes to scripting for this video, because it was a pretty intense dev stream in regards to content. So let's just get right into this. Starting off immediately, this weekend we will have a double XP weekend. This will start on the 9th and end on the 12th, offering a large last chance to gather XP before the season ends. So if you're a player who needs to get a lot of tiers, I suggest playing this weekend. From here, they moved to the hotfix update that happened the morning of the dev stream. In that hotfix, there was a rebalancing of the MGs, with the M249's mag size going from 200 down to 100, and with the spread of the MGs increasing across the board. Alex then went into more detail about the MGs, starting off by talking about how weight-based handling, a popular solution to the MG situation, currently doesn't exist and isn't really possible to add. So instead, they had to focus on rebalancing the MGs through more conventional means. He then talked about the M249 dilemma, explaining that the gun was already quite powerful before the rework, and that the rework only made this situation worse. And he hopes that with the recent rebalances, the situation should be handled. And, it sh and should it not be, he would like to buff other guns to this level rather than nerf the MGs even further. With him even directly stating, if you dislike MGs as they are now, I'd suggest waiting until after we buff the other guns before suggesting further nerfs. In general, he added tons more insight into the situation, and if you're a player who really doubts or doubted the devs in regard to the MG overhaul, I highly suggest you watch his statements directly to cure up any possible confusion you may still have in this regard. Moving into other balancing, a commenter inquired what Alex's opinions about making carrying ammo, or more ammo, more punishing to the player. Alex said that he thinks it's a valid idea, in terms of making mobility and jumping more restrictive should you be carrying more ammo. With him directly stating he thinks that balancing should be done to make only light weapons like SMGs usable while jump shotting, while other weapons like the LMGs wouldn't be able to do it. But he also addressed the difficulty of adding that, explaining that it wasn't possible to disable aim down sights while jump shotting when they first overhauled jump shots way back. To finalize his statements on balancing, he said if you have opinions on balancing the MGs, he would like examples from other games, but he wants you to keep in mind that Tarkov, which is a popular thing that's brought up, is a horrible example. It's a PC game that doesn't even use a controller, and thus scaling it over wouldn't really work in any regard. Moving over to other things. We got an update on the survey. They are, at the moment, currently at 2.5k entries, and they've confirmed that when they finish the survey, they will tell us the results of it, which is honestly some really great news. This much data of just, you know, surveys and collecting is personally something like a fever dream to me and I'm going to be very excited to see the results publicized so we can kind of get a gauge on the community at large in a way that really hasn't been done since the last major survey. They then answered a question regarding remapping of buttons with Alex saying it would be extremely difficult for them to add such a mechanic so at the moment it has to be a soft no. The devs also confirmed that they are working on an update to the shelter but that it shouldn't be expected for next season. In this regard, Alex said he would not mind the addition of mass opening of crates or mass crafting as shelter upgrades. And I'm really curious to see what possible future shelter upgrades we could be getting in the future if an update in that regard happens. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. Following that, the devs covered more about the report system, saying that if a player is reported tons of times, the devs have the ability to look into that account's technical data and see if they are doing something that may require action. It should be added that a system like this is bound to be extremely accurate and will ensure there is no false positives, meaning people really don't have to fear false reports, and they also don't have to worry about people getting away. Because if it's looking at technical data, it isn't looking at lag, it isn't looking at, yo, does it look like this player is cheating? It's looking at if the player is putting in inputs into their controller that are cheating. And, and that's something that is really good. It gives them empirical data on if the player regarded is cheating, and allows them to really take action against them. 
They also added to this statement that in regards to action, players should begin seeing action taken against cheaters in the next couple of months. They don't want to give a timeline for this because they don't want cheaters to hear it and then start, you know, actively taking action to avoid punishment. And they also don't want to disappoint any players if they say, hey, we're going to start banning these people next Tuesday. And then next Tuesday rolls around and they're just not really ready for it or they don't have enough people. So they want to make sure that everything with this process goes smoothly so they don't want to rush it and they also don't want to you know reveal any of their cards we also got a teaser of next season's gun it was one of those blink and you miss it type of stuff and i completely missed it and if it wasn't for vsl wouldn't have even noticed it but as you can see in the screen cap that is indeed a new weapon the community has already settled on this new gun being the pm 12s which is an italian submachine gun which also suggests that really our next weapon overhaul is going to be in the submachine guns which is Phenomenal news if you're someone that follows frequency or someone who generally understands how balancing the game really has to go moving forward. Finally, the last thing in the dev stream to be talked about is the drama regarding half. I don't like drama, but since it was mentioned and gave more insight into the situation, I feel like not only do you guys deserve to know what was said by the devs, but also it's important to be mentioned by me in order to give an accurate coverage of the dev stream, which is what I try to do with these videos. So, the devs mentioned that the Half Metal Fox situation and really clarified for us that they are indeed sad to see him go, but that many of the things he brought up in his video were sadly taken out of context and out of order, as well as the fact that it was his decision to leave, a decision he made on his stream the night before. They also added knowledge that is known to all partners. The take a break comment isn't new, it isn't a statement about mental health, and it isn't really a threat. It's a common statement within the partnership and the dev communications between partners and partners and partners and devs to symbolize that if something comes up, you are welcome to take a break from the game and will not be penalized for doing so if they believe that is an action that you must take in order to ensure that you still with stay with the game. So to give an example, if I as a partner dislike season 13 very strongly, I am allowed to take a break for the entire season if I inform them that I need that break. Um, and I could do that without losing my partnership. The devs wished half luck in the future and stated they have no hard feelings on the matter. So really that is all for this dev stream. The chat was meh this stream, but someone said the Papi Alex has a fan club after uh, BBS said love you Alex, which is honestly the truest statement ever. We do love Alex. Um, I feel like this one was one of the most informative and well done dev streams in quite a very long time. And I think that can be shown by the very length of this video. I quite enjoyed it, but really, this is all I got for you guys today. Um, until the next stream, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao, everybody.